What's up guys? It is actually a great rainy day today, but it's not raining at the moment and I wanted to catch you guys up with what I've done so far. We are officially past our last frost date. Our last frost date here in coastal South Carolina zone AB where I'm at specifically was supposed to be March 27th. In years past, I've explained this, but usually it's April 2nd. I've checked the forecast all the way up until April 10th, and there's no freezes. There's no, um, you know, even close to freezing. And so I've done a lot of work off camera. I actually went ahead. The last video I just posted was about planting my green stock. I was actually gone on a woman's retreat, and then when I got back, I just hit the ground running. So I did get my green stock in front of the hoop house planted. And I did show already that I planted out uh, the tomatoes inside of this hoop house. Most of them are paste, but there are some that are not paste, like triple crop, which is just a good greenhouse tomato, as well as a Grand Marshall. Um, but the rest of them are predominantly paste tomatoes. I put them in here because this is where I want to grow all of my sauce tomatoes, my tomatoes to grow for making sauce. In years past, I haven't grown um, paste tomatoes, so this year I figured I would try it. And I basically put about two of each type of paste tomato I had, with the exception of triple crop. I think I planted like six or seven triple crop, um, and then a couple Grand Marshall. But the rest of them I planted like two of each um, paste to tomato variety that I had. Another thing that I've gotten done is I went through my tomatoes and my peppers and I actually planted all of my, well, majority of all of my peppers and I'll show you that out into the garden. I did that over the last two days, but I also gave away over like 90 um, between peppers and tomatoes, majority um, tomatoes. And so I only have this. This is the last tray of peppers that I have. All of these are sweet peppers. There's 30 of them, if I'm not mistaken. And that's the only peppers that I have that I haven't planted yet. Um, I did go ahead and plant a bunch of my nasturtiums and I'm gonna plant probably the rest today. I give away a lot of cucumbers. Um, these are all my winter squash that germinated, but I did have some that didn't germinate. And all of my squash that, um, like my summer squash that did germinate, I went ahead and put it outside already. Um, what else? I think I shared that I officially up-potted all of my tomatoes. So my dwarf tomatoes were the last tomatoes that I hadn't up-potted yet. And I went ahead and up-potted them. This is, these are the tomatoes right here. These three, this is not a full tray of tomatoes, but basically four tray of tomatoes are the tomatoes that I have to plant in my garden. And that already looks like a big difference because I had four, eight, 12, 13, 14. I had like 14 trays here and right now I only have three, seven, 10. I have 11 here and then I had like 10 to 12 trays on, on the table and right now I only have seven. So definitely got a lot, got rid of a lot. These tomatoes right here, my friend bought me them and her tomatoes are much bigger than, than my tomatoes and so I want to go ahead and get them planted today. So these first two beds, uh, as you can see, I've already planted my peppers in them. In this bed, I think I have 32, no 30 spicy peppers and two marigolds. And then in the next bed, I have probably, I think 30, wait, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. 26 I have 26 spicy peppers in this bed and then coming down this row I didn't finish but these are all my dwarf tomatoes and I didn't finish planting them here but I did plant a few of them out already they're super tiny so um so I do have some dwarf tomatoes planted going down this ingrown bed because this is going to be the bed where my dwarf tomatoes are going to be at and then this is the final thing I did yesterday this is my sweet pepper bed. Jonathan is coming out uh, to help me because in order for me to plant my tomatoes, I need to, or finish plant, no, I didn't plant any tomatoes. In order for me to finish or to start planting my tomatoes, I need the T-post into the rest of these beds. I only have 
this one t post right here and my son aiden went ahead and weeded that bed for me because although it has landscape fabric a bunch of weeds sprouted in that bed and although they were white because they didn't get no sun they did sprout and so he pulled up the landscape fabric for me weeded and then today i'm probably gonna get go ahead and plant um the tomatoes already burnt holes inside of the landscape fabric no they're gonna eat my plants Go that way. Go that way. You're so bad. So I have the T post already laid out in the the bed. Yeah, and I already burnt the holes there. So like I was saying, in this bed I planted out, this is a three by 15 bed, and I planted it all out with um, sweet peppers. This is 80 sweet peppers inside of this bed, and I just realized I missed um, two holes. So there's 80 holes, but only 78 peppers um, planted in this bed. This is one of my log raised beds, and it's probably the smallest log raised bed I have. It's the bed I planted onions in. It's the first bed I built, and I went ahead and planted zinnias in these holes. So no zinnias have sprouted yet, but that's where I have my zinnias. And I'm really not sure what to do with the rest of my garden beds, um, because this bed that's very, very wee, you can see I have a lot of perennial plants in here. All of these green puffs are lilies um, popping up. And then I think I even have echinacea here. There's a potato popping up from last year. And there's some more lilies down at this way. So I'm just not really sure um, what I want to do with this bed. I'm thinking about pulling up all the lilies and then planting them somewhere else. Like maybe either in containers or just in a forever garden bed somewhere where they can grow and not be taken over with weeds so that I could uh, weed this bed once again and then cover it with landscape fabric and plant in it. You guys let me know your thoughts. This bed as well, um, this bed was all asparagus and I thought we dug up all of the asparagus but you can see all of these sprigs popping popping up like there's asparagus there 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 like so all of these asparagus you can see obviously we didn't get all the asparagus roots out and so i'm just not sure what i'm going to do with this bed i want to keep it weeded um but i also wanted to cover it and i thought we got all the asparagus out so i'm just not sure I'm not sure if I want to leave the asparagus in there, keep this bed weeded, and then plant in between the asparagus, and then try to keep it weeded that way. I'm not really 100% sure. You guys, again, let me know. And then finally, this last bed of uh, asparagus again. It was completely full with weeds. I thought it, like all the asparagus was dead in here. And you can see the asparagus is not dead. Once my girls weeded this bed, um, just a little bit. Obviously, there's still lots of weeds in here. All the asparagus started popping up and Like oh, I almost touched a bug, but You can see this asparagus is big enough to eat and there's lots of them Like that's good to eat. That one. And all of these, because they're in their third year, are pretty decent size. And then, then there's some that's even thicker that I missed. So we do have asparagus popping up all over this bed. I just need a way, if you guys know a way to keep this asparagus bed weeded without um, 
covering it, let me know because I'm being overtaken by weeds in this asparagus bed and it just makes me want to not have asparagus if I can't control the weeds. And a lot of them are tree weeds because this is the bed where, or this is the area where we had um, pine trees growing. And so there's like pine trying to grow in here and other types of thick, weedy, um, woody, uh, what is it called roots so I'm not sure what to do with this bed so there's still a lot to be done in these beds um, but it's getting done I mean the potatoes that I planted are looking absolutely amazing in this bed as well as this bed I don't know if it has anything to do with the rabbit manure and compost that we put in here, but they look excellent. And so I'm really going to be happy to have these two beds of um, potatoes. But I think that's everything. Nope, I didn't. That's not everything that I've done in the garden. The last thing I told you guys was these were the squashes that planted in the that germinated in the hoop house. And as you can see, I didn't even take them out of the bag. There was roots growing out of the bag. So I just popped them straight into this fabric. This fabric was the bed that I had brassicas. But you can see how an ant pile started forming in this bed and killed all of my brassicas with the exception of that one down there. And this, and that one, and that one. But I just decided to go ahead and replace them with squash and so that's what I did and still working on a way to get rid of those ants I did look up multiple ways to get rid of ants and and have been trying to get rid of them every single day so if you guys have a way to get rid of ants tried and true I've tried the orange mixed with dish soap um, and water I've tried you know taking a little bit from each pile and that hasn't worked and yeah that's the only two way two ways i've tried so far so if you guys have a tried and true way definitely um let me know so i don't remember if i finished saying that but what we're working on today is jonathan's gonna help me put in um or i'm gonna help him <laughs> put the cattle panels up so that um we can get them strapped into the t-post and there's a chicken laying underneath this tree and there's like four eggs underneath there because I saw it. So anyway, um, I'm going to help him get the cattle panels strapped up. And then we'll... Do you not like asparagus? Do you, what do you... Do you like asparagus? Do you not like asparagus? No? Okay. Okay, my husband and I got all of the cattle panels up for the tomatoes. I'm at this first cattle panel that was already up and that already had holes in it. And I'm gonna plant these tomatoes because as you can see, they're super long. Mines, are prob mines that I planted are probably half this size. And you can see they're starting to curve and everything. So I wanna get these planted at least um, because I already have the 12 holes burnt and um, yeah, because they need trellising. So I'm going to get these planted. I need to write name tags out for them. There, this is an artisan. Uh, I think it's called Bumblebee. We have two Cherokee Purples, um, an Invincible Cream, Cream Sausage, which I do have two Cream Sausages inside my hoop house. It's a, like an orange, I think it's like a pale maybe. Um, pale or orange 
is it called? Paste tomato. I have a Chadwick, Indigo Rose, a Teslan, and then it says Queen of the Night. And I'm gonna plant, because I think this is 12, two, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. Naya, where's the other ones? There's two more, I think, inside the poop house. Can you bring them? So I think I have exactly 12 tomatoes that my friend gave me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plant them in this bed and be done with it and be done for the day. And that will be my official first bed of tomatoes plant. What I've been putting inside of the soil is some of this neem seed, neem meal um, fertilizer. I think it's like a 613, something like that. Um, and I forgot that I also have some dirty eggs that I just went and got out the house that I'm gonna break in the hole and also plant. Just cause I have so many eggs right now, like we've been collecting three to four dozen a day. So little dirty eggs that got muddy from the rain isn't gonna hurt. That's my first time putting the egg in the hole with the with the plant. And some of these were dry when I planted them in, so they're looking a little limp. But once I finish getting all of these planted, I am going to water them because it seems like the rain has left for the day. And it's not supposed to rain for another few days. So I officially have my first 15 tomatoes planted in this bed. All these tall ones, like I said, is the ones my friends gave me. And then I went ahead and planted out these little tomatoes. I've never planted out a tomato this tiny, but I wanted to just go ahead and get this whole bed planted. These are, this is gonna be a cherry tomato bed. So I'm going to plant 30 cherry tomatoes. And since the ones that my friend gave me were all fairly small, um, and some were just completely cherry tomatoes, I did plant a the paste tomato in here because I'm not planting a paste tomato out here. Now I've already planted all my paste tomatoes inside of the hoop house and there's no more space. So this is going to be all cherry tomatoes with the exception of that paste that I planted out here. And whew, I'm really excited about it. I just went ahead into the garden because, I mean, into the hoop house and grabbed these three yellow corny, uh, I forgot what it's called now. That was just an aphid on that. Um, and I'm going to plant these inside the green stalk because these are just peppers I had left over that I've already planted that sweet pepper bed out and I have a red robin from my friend that is a dwarf tomato or compact tomato and I want to plant it in the green stalk so I just decided to go ahead and grab these uh, peppers as well and plant them into the green stalk while I'm here oh my goodness that's so many aphids And then this will be the last thing that I do today. I'm hoping that this neem seed, what is it called, neem meal fertilizer is gonna help with the aphids because um, they say to spray neem on your plants if you have aphids. So I'm hoping by sprinkling this, it will deter the aphids in the ground and all the other bugs that's in the ground. There's a spider right there. I just saw a worm in there in this green stuck when I just moved the soil. Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing and put the neem and an egg.
I think that's enough planting for today. I'm tired. It's dinner time. Um, I did plant some nasturtiums. I don't know if I said that inside there. Um, and now that I'm looking around with all of the cattle panels up and that first bed planted with tomatoes, it looks so good in here. And it's starting to green up and I'm really excited about it. It's officially go time now. So I will see you guys in my next video when we're planting more tomatoes. Bye guys.